Today we're in Windsor walking to Marlow and but no, it's <laughs> We're in Windsor and we're walking to Marlow today on the Thames Path. So we're walking through Berkshire, one of the best walks in Berkshire. I've got Pastor Steve here. Hello. And Mike is here as well. Three day trippers on the Thames Path. About 15 miles ahead of us. And it, this is a historic day in Windsor because this is the day of Prince Philip's funeral. Uh, we haven't been invited unfortunately. But we do remember Prince Philip and celebrate his life. As, but we're heading out of Windsor, leaving the world media behind us. This is a millionaire's row along here as you go out of Windsor. And who wouldn't want to live here? Beautiful view. You've got the river, you can just park your boat outside your house. And you can get to London in in uh, next to no time at all. I didn't realise they made that sound. And I think that's Ascot Racecourse. <laughs> huh? There, there's, there's money falling out the trees here. Yeah. Yeah. This is winter. Where money is not an issue. <laughs> yeah. Um, that will get you into Weatherspoons. That one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't need um, a vaccination passport. <laughs> They'll just accept that across the bar. Oh, uh, wow. Boveny Lock. I'd have to say we are sauntering along at a, quite a slow pace, but it doesn't matter. We're enjoying our time together. That's what it's all about, isn't it? I think we're probably doing about one mile an hour, but um, at this rate, we'll get to Marlow probably sometime tomorrow. Look at this church here right by the river. very historic it's open actually let's go in and see if anyone's inside I always like stopping at churches on the way don't you let's see what's inside shall we we may have a cup of coffee here wouldn't that be nice a beautiful place look at this look at this very traditional church we always find a nice church Pastor Steve don't we yeah look at this amazing isn't it an amazing place. It must be a Norman church. Isn't it? Oh yeah. That's why going on these walks, you never know what you're going to find. But you have to get out your front door. If you set like a task of doing one of these footpaths, it forces you out into areas, or you go out into areas that you wouldn't know. Look at that. What a lovely place. I never mentioned, isn't it? Yeah, somebody's mentioned. Russian oligarch? It would probably could be, couldn't it? Who knows? Yeah. Just uh, 10 past 11. Yeah, 10 past 11, we've done five miles, so we're getting there slowly. Maidenhead, three miles to go, that's where we're going to have lunch. What do you think? The picnic here? A lovely picnic area. I don't think they'd be too thrilled if we did have a picnic here, but it's like a summer's day today. It's beautiful. A real surprise, had no idea. I didn't even check the forecast actually. I just put my umbrella in just in case. These places, perfectly manicured gardens and hedges. Look at that. Summer houses, lovely landing areas for your motorboat. Look at this, you've got a football pitch there. Looks like Wembley Stadium, doesn't it? The grass on there. It's like the Beverly Hills, Berkshire. The boat coming through. Got the lock keeper on duty, thankfully. I wonder if he lives in that house. That was the original lock keeper's house. That was the life, wasn't it? Living in that nice house, opening the lock every so often. 
such a beautiful time of year make sure you get out and enjoy it the different seasons the blossoms the sights and sounds of spring why not try a river walk it's not too hard because it's flat find your local river and walk it from the source to the sea it's a great idea isn't it this one we're walking from the sea to the source the thing is we're doing a walk like this is that you can just pick it up each week you can just pick it up from where you were last week you haven't really got to think about your next adventure really recommend it you can just do the stages each week this one I'm not sure how far we'll go I suppose a bit out of practice really I've been a couple of weeks not doing much hiking life gets busy doesn't it and then you come out your feet start to ache a bit earlier so now we hit the traffic and we're in Maidenhead this is Maidenhead so sometimes you have to cross, cross the Thames obviously and pick up the towpath goes to the other bank So we left Maidenhead for walking towards Marlow. I got away from all the people and all the big houses. All we've got now is a lot of geese in the field. Look over there. There's so much, there's a lot of wildlife around here. More horses, but they're not wild horses this time, I don't think. Uh, got electric fence as well. There's an electric fence? Yep. Really? Yeah. Look at this, the cr cricket pitch looks like Lords, doesn't it? In fact, it, I think the grass on there is better than the grass at the oval. So we're all limping a little bit. I think we're not really ready for this Thames Path hike. All of us are struggling, so we're gonna go back from Cookham Rise Station. We're not gonna walk all the way to Marlow. We're not far from Marlow, maybe a couple of miles. So we're gonna get a train here, rest our feet, maybe get ourselves ready for next time. So anyway, a bit of a shorter one this week, but it's been a lovely day. It's just like fantastic. It's like the summer weather, everybody's out. It's so nice to see, so nice to be out and about. I hope you've had a good time wherever you are. And thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. I haven't seen, don't see many stations like this, do you? We've just got one single track. That's it. So anyway, it'll get us out of here and get back to civilization again.